this is just a message we have to send out. If you know me in real life, you know that I'm a big introvert. I am quite reserved. I save my words. I'm not a big of a talker. I'm pretty sure you can tell that through my videos too. I'm talking about this because I was editing this video that you're about to see and I was thinking to myself like how can I make this less bland and how can I make myself seem more fun, more outgoing, more interesting and that thought led to a whole realization of you would think that your highest moments are the most entertaining and your lowest moments to be the least entertaining but then in terms of content your highest and your lowest are the most entertaining for other people to watch and then it's always anything in the middle that seems bland and boring but it's very realistic for the creators to promote only the highest and the lowest and it's also mentally exhausting for viewers to always see someone else's highs and the lows I want to be more grateful for the boring, bland, everyday days in my life that I just get through and I uh, want to encourage that to you guys as well so I didn't make any crazy special edits to make this more entertaining I just kept it as it is and my fridge is being loud again so I'm just gonna go but that was a quick little intro to this vlog I've fallen off the track a little bit in terms of waking up early because I don't have morning classes I've said this a couple of times now but it's nice to wake up early because if I want to go to the gym, I can get it out of the way I can read my book, I can like eat breakfast and review, review the material before the class starts All that good stuff But then it's not required, like no one's pointing a gun to my head like you have to do this It's just if I want to do it, I can But because it's that way, I haven't been waking up early because I don't have to And it's actually been a really good like catching up on sleep kind of phase for me I have been sleeping like 9 to 10 hours a day which is kind of crazy but I'm wanting to pick myself back up again and kind of um, get used to waking up early because I'm just not used to that right now like being on winter break I'm just used to snoozing my alarms not really waking up to my alarm so I'm gonna discipline myself to be able to wake up after just one alarm and I, I think it affects like my overall mood and like the productivity level for the day too because if I wake up late I just feel really drowsy all day and I won't get as much stuff done compared to when I wake up early I have like my cup of matcha or like my cup of coffee and then I'm just really energized throughout the entire day so I got ready I'm going to go get a cup of matcha from this bakery slash cafe that I found through TikTok um, they have matcha cold brew and it just looked so good on the video so i'm gonna go check it out it's only like 13 minutes away i looked it up before going to bed last night because i was so excited and i'm also gonna show you guys how i've been doing my hair with dyson because i think i have it figured out it does turn out a little different every time i do it but i think in general i know what i'm doing now so let me show you um i'm trying out this new like pimple sticker from the brand Starface. I've been seeing it everywhere and I've been wanting to try it out. So it's what it looks like. It kind of looks like you have a sticker on your face and it's supposed to make wearing around like a pimple patch more fun and cute, I guess. All you're gonna do is curl all of the pieces inwards and if you have layers in your hair, make sure that each layer is getting the curl instead of like chunking it together and making a one big curl. You can see I have shorter pieces in the front and then in the middle there's a longer piece. So instead of putting these together and doing a one big curl, which is not going to accentuate the layers, I'm going to separate these two different lengths and then curl them separately, if that makes sense. For the Dyson setting, I'm gonna put the wind power in the middle level and then at the hottest. And then after I get it curled, I'm gonna use the cold shot, which is shot of cold air to set that and that's been helping um, with holding my curl.
this is what it should look like and you can definitely see the different layers because they're at different height and then for the front pieces if you have like side bangs i realized that yes you can use a dyson you can use a curling wand to curl them in like that pretty way but the best way to do it is to use one of these big rollers just put them on when your hair is a little damp and then let your hair dry like this and it just stays like this the whole time because I find that if you do it with a Dyson or if you do it with a curling wand they don't like hold this curl that you want so I do it with the roller and just kind of play around with it a little bit one last thing that's going to make a big difference um, is you're going to take it so the wand is going to curl the hair outwards so the opposite of what we did with the actual hair and we're going to take like the front pieces and we're going to run it over the top part and that creates more natural frame pieces because right now if you take these bang pieces out they're just straight at the side and create that volume to the side So I got a couple of the bakery items and then the matcha cold brew which is like the one thing that I really wanted to try. That is so good. I can't believe this just happened to me. I I like don't have I I don't know what to say because I haven't processed this whole thing that just happened to me. So I was just enjoying my matcha. It's really good by the way. Just try it out if you're near this area. But I pulled out my iPad so I could do some reading for homework and my iPad um my Apple pencil was like dangling on the side of my iPad instead of like being fully attached. And while I was taking out, the, I, the pencil fell out and like rolled into the little crack on the floor. And I was like, okay, I can try to get this out. It's still like doable. Like it's, I can pick it out if I really, really tried. So I was doing my best with like the two straws that I got from the store, from the cafe. And I try to get it out. And the more I touched it, kept falling deeper into the crack to the point where I couldn't like really recover it anymore so now I'm leaving without an apple pencil I I couldn't get it out it's just left there and I would have asked the people to help me like logically there's no way of getting it out unless you actually like break the deck and like dig a hole into the floor it's tragic but I'm also like laughing about it because I just can't believe something that unfortunate would happen to me anyways i'm going back to campus now because i'm going to the involvement fair with my friend and that's like a club fair where all the clubs come together and promote their clubs so yeah i did some studying and homework at different spots on campus but i'm back in my room um i actually have an amazon package to go pick up but i'm gonna do a little bit more homework before i leave the room look at this bread that i got earlier it's so cute i literally want to try everything on their bakery menu because um for breakfast i had like a tuna panini it was just tuna sandwiched in between bread but it was good but it just also the tuna taste was like very strong so i want to try the other like savory items but this is just a chocolate bun oh my god that looks so cute mm. Mm. it's not chocolate cream it's kind of like how 
the chocolate is filled inside the chocolate croissant like you can bite into the chocolate because it's like almost it's almost like the chocolate was inserted in the bun where i was creating videos everything i wanted the starbucks drive through by my house i said can we go better than i've had there oh, they pulled out all the stops it oh, was delicious <laughs> I wasn't gonna talk about this, but now I have to because it's just funny how things are working out. So yesterday morning, I woke up and I, I text my sister on and off like every single day. And yesterday morning, I texted my sister like, I don't know what it is, but something's bothering me. Like it was one of those mornings where like everything was kind of getting on my nerves and everything was bothering me. Having one of those days where everything is like bothersome for some reason, like, um, can't decide on an outfit because everything just seems to look bad. And I texted that to my sister, so like spreading the negative energy. And then walking into the cafe that I went to yesterday, I dropped my phone and like my case broke in the corner, like two places. And then you guys heard I lost my Apple Pencil in like the most unfortunate way. I didn't talk about this one, but I had my water bottle in my backpack and the water spilled everywhere so like my econ notebook got soaked at the bottom and now this I just it's just a reminder to not jinx yourself um, even if you think that you're having a bad morning tell yourself that you're having a good morning because unfortunate things might just come bite you in the butt I was gonna talk about I just like randomly craved like a refreshing drink so I pulled this out of the fridge and fun fact I'm not like that big of a drinker like of course I'm not legal here actually but even if I like get the chance to I don't like I don't enjoy alcoholic beverages and I would much rather drink a normal juice or water or coffee or any sort of other drinks but like having something like this in your household helps because if people are having like a gathering and it's like a, like a social setting where you kind of like feel pressure to drink you can just take something like this and have it in your hand and no one's really going to be like that's not an alcoholic beverage what are you doing like no one cares that's a hack for you and also i wanted to talk about a book that i've been actually really really enjoying it's a book called 101 essays that changed that will change the way you think and it's a book that contains 101 short essays um, that talk about different topics and it's definitely not a book where you like hold on to and read it straight away like the whole thing in like few days just because i don't think anyone's going to find 101 essays interesting um to read for a week straight so it's kind of something you have on your desk and whenever you're feeling down whenever you're feeling like you need some piece of wisdom you just kind of open that book and see what's there for you and that's what i have been doing because i got this book like two months ago but there was just this one message that really stood out to me today that was like the feeling of anxiety usually comes from you denying a certain fact so like it could be like oh someone left a mean comment on my picture the reason why i would feel anxious with that is because i'm trying to deny the fact that people can be mean and not everyone's nice but as soon as i kind of accept that that comment does not get to me anymore that's just an example that didn't really happen to me today but i just wanted to share that with you and it's on amazon it's on like kindle so definitely check it out if you get the chance to and i feel like it would also make a really really good gift for someone who's just getting into reading um even as like a housewarming gift um this book would be nice to just have on the coffee table I finished all of my classes and I had dinner at the cafe. This is undoubtedly the most fun part of my day because I'm gonna go to Target. I'm trying to learn how to do my own nails and the first step is to learn how to remove the gel nails 
at home so i'm gonna go get acetone and i actually got like the nail drill from amazon so um as soon as i grab the acetone i should be able to remove it on my own and i'm going to attempt that tonight no matter how short the drive is i have to play music and i've been very into chase atlantic right late uh, and i've been very into chase atlantic lately I came to the study room so I can have a little study break and I'm gonna watch Emily in Paris season 2 I know I'm so late and then attempt to do my nails so I got the electric drill from Amazon and this is my first time opening it actually so drill different ends that you can insert to the drill textures there are different grits of Thank you. 